Okay, today I want to showcase about Courier on Manic Island. Courier doesn't really work that well against defeating the Manic Island itself, but as for defeating the Berserk Cory, Courier can indeed help a little bit here and there. I can explain a little bit more after we get into the run, but first I'm gonna get into other stuff first, which is that, um, first of all, disclaimer, this is emulation from BCU, which I usually don't really like for emulating strategies and stuff like that, but my units are extremely high leveled. I do have a run where I use an extremely high leveled Paris and a level 40 Courier, the Paris cat that I'm using is like level 51 or something like that, which is slightly stronger than level 40 uh, level 40 cyborg, which isn't too bad. But I, you know, I would still prefer to test out on lower levels, which is what I'm trying to do. So that's why I opt in into using BCU. The footage that you're seeing right now is actually from the mobile, but for the rest of the video, I'll be using BCU footage. As for the lineup itself, uh, the usual, you're gonna have to bring four meat shields, of course. <laughs> Usually, I would try to opt into using three cheap meat shields and one crazy wall, mainly because after the first wave. Manic Island always appears in groups, to a point where I feel like if you're using Eraser, it's not gonna really matter that much anyways. If you have Honeywell Cat, Honeywell Cat can actually be pretty strong, considering that Honeywell Cat actually does have much better survivability than like normal Eraser. Other than that, you're also bringing the usual Cyborg and Manic Legs, and of course, the star of the show, Courier Cat. Uh, you can also bring other ranged attackers, stuff like Bahamut, Pole Vaulter, Drama Cat, stuff like that. Generally, preferably ones that have pretty high range so that you'll be able to consider Consistently outrange the Manic Islands. You can also bring in some Ubers as a substitute. There's also another run right here that I'm going to showcase where I use Steel as a substitute for my Bahamut because my Bahamut cat is level 40. <laughs> And this deal, deals, haha, the similar DPS with uh, level 30 Bahamut, so that's why I use her here. And as for this strategy, I never actually tried this, but I don't think Courier works that well combined with Catley, because Courier kind of relies on Berserk Cory being in front, and Catley pushes Berserk Cory back, so I don't think these two are gonna work that well together. However, oddly enough, I think using something like Octopus can actually work in conjunction with Courier, which is a little bit weird, but I'll get into why later, and I think the reason can be very clear seen why once we get into the run which i'll you know i'll you know, yeah, I'll, I'm already getting into the run right now. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, Rich Cat and Sniper very much recommended. Sniper is optional, but Rich Cat is pretty much almost needed. The usual, to start off, you spam your meat shields, you spam your range attackers. Preferably start off with ones that has better cost efficiency. So, you know, can, you can spawn stuff like Bahamut, or you spawn like Volter first, you spawn Drama Cats first, and you try to focus up, and you just keep on pushing to the enemy base. At this point in time, after you hit the base, it's fine to keep on spawning everything, unlike in the Catalyst strat where you just have to stop spawning everything. In here, I think it's fine to still spawn stuff, but preferably don't spawn stuff that are too tanky that might trigger Berserk Cory's attack. So if you're bringing the meat shields like I'm bringing, using right now, preferably stop spawning uh, Grace Wall. Or if you're bringing Haniwa, stop spawning Haniwa. Uh, try to rely more on the cheap disposable meat shields. Up until the island starts dying. If the islands behind Berserk Cory starts dying, that's where you gotta stop spawning your meat shields. This is also what Courier is good for, by the way. With Berserk Cory in front, usually it's a little bit hard to kill the islands behind Berserk Ori. But with Courier's LD, uh, you'll be able to chip them off better, and they will die slightly easier than usual. Once they do start dying off though, that's where you gotta start to stop spawning your meat shields, and this is usually when Berserk Ori can be isolated alone. And with Berserk Ori isolated alone, there's no one that's going to destroy your meat shields, and your meat shields would be a wave bait for Cory. At this point in time, Courier can actually tank a Berserk Ori wave without getting knocked back. And so, it might be the best of your interest to only focus on Courier while you let Berserk Cory advance. However, also at this point in time, this is also a prime time for you to be able to use Octopus Cat because there's no Manic Island to kill Octopus Cat, so you can now use Octopus Cat to counter Berserk Cory and you're able to use other rage attackers to help kill Berserk Cory and stuff like that. Now, during this time, whether you are bringing Octopus or not, basically your goal is to just kill Berserk Cory as soon as possible before it reaches your base. And on my runs right here, pretty much all of my runs right here, I kinda clutched it, but also at the same time, to be fair, I'm using very minimal level right here. So if your level is higher, I'm I'm very sure you'll be able to kill Berserk Ori way faster than this. After you kill Berserk Ori, you know, push as usual. That's uh, that's just how it is. It might take you a while to push, but that's fine. That's just how Manic Island is, unfortunately. If you're only relying on Cyborg especially, 
it can take a very long time to push to the enemy base again. And especially with the pesky brawlers, don't forget about that. But yeah, other than that, that's about it. Um, It's very much different compared to the Cathly Strat, uh, because the Cathly Strat is kind of what I call kind of like the playing safe kind of playstyle, while the Courier Strat is more of a rushdown kind of strat, where you're hoping to kill Berserkory as soon as possible, and if you fail to kill Berserkory as soon as possible, you die. Meanwhile, in Cathly Strat, you're kind of relying on RNG. So I would say like the Cathly Strat is a little bit more friendlier to non-boosted stuff, but also at the same time, you don't actually need a crazy amount of boost for Courier, and considering that Courier and Cyborg is already a pretty high, high priority to boost anyways, I think there's a pretty good chance that your Cyborg and Courier is already high enough level to be able to do the brute force strat. So yeah, this is this is it. I wouldn't say this strat is like straight out better than Cathy or uh, the Cathy strat or anything like that. I just think that more variety on strategy is better because it just makes, you know, it just gives more accessibility to more players. Some people might just not be lucky in their behemoth stone and not have courier and they can use the Cathy strat in that case. Or, you know, in the other way around, they might not have pirate cat or they might have not true form pirate cat and stuff like that, but they have a pretty decent level courier and cyborg and in that case you can use this one. So yeah, that's about it. That's about it for the courier strat for Ogre Island. Again, I'll repeat, I don't usually really like using BCU for strategizing, but it is what it is. And uh, if you do find this helpful and if you win through the strategy, please do tell me because I need confirmation that it does work for other people. Uh, preferably do tell me on like what level your cyborg and your couriers are and stuff like that because I think it'll help uh, validate the strategy more. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. See ya.